hello boys and girls, it's your boy Hunt Noobs coming back at you with some more gameplay footage. I hope this mic is loud enough for you, I don't know, I had to turn the volume down really low because I'm actually been quite disappointed with this new headset I have. I feel like that, you know, I, no matter where I put the volume bar on it, it just seems like it's too loud. That it's like, it, it's so loud that the speakers are just being pushed to its max when it comes to when I listen to my commentaries, and I really don't like that. Uh, I do have the headbanger, what I use for the, uh, when you're talking to your pub matches and shit like that, but I don't know, I'm truly upset with this headset that I have. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting maybe a snowball or a Yeti, something. Something that's much better than what I have here. Um, I know Fate has pretty much the same thing I have, and I don't know if he uses the headset for his commentaries, uh, because this stuff always sounds pretty nice. Um, I know he he says that he goes in and, and you know kind of tweaks the volume or the audio a little bit to, to, to make it sound much better so uh, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong is I'm not going in and just uh, tweaking it to where it sounds correct it's just blowing my ears away and speaking of fate I want to give him a quick shout out guys uh, he had 1100 subs last night shout out to your player also he was part of something pretty pretty unique last night uh, pretty awesome if you ask me uh, fisticuffs I don't know if you guys are familiar with him at all he's a very very large YouTube commentator and um, when it comes to uh, subs and all that shit like that. I love his content as well. But anyways, he did a, um, a live stream last night. And in his live stream, what he would do is if you put your channel leak into the chat, he would come check your channel out. He would check everybody out because obviously he was getting overwhelmed. But it was pretty much the luck of the draw, I guess, in a sense. Well, anyways, Fate left. But fortunately for him, Groucho420 was still in there. And he submitted Fate's channel link. Well, lo and behold... Uh, Fisticuff decides to check out Fate. So he goes in in his Fate's video when he puts up his one-year anniversary and also his uh, first Moab. And he had nothing but positive stuff to say about it. He wasn't bashing we at all. He was uh, pretty much what he does. He goes in and critiques what he believes that you're doing wrong or anything. But he had nothing negative to say about Fate at all. He said he was speaking positive. He was using the Wii mote, which is a plus. He knows how hard it is because he is a Wii uh, gamer as well. Um, he he come in on Black Ops and put out a few videos on his channel, just saying how much he truly enjoyed playing on the on the Wii and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think it was a positive thing. It was just pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure Fade will pick up a few subs from something like that. And um, also, I retweeted or I not retweeted, but I tweeted Fist saying, "Hey, you know, thanks for a lot for exposing the Wii because everybody knows we like to be exposed." And you know, in my little perverted sense of humor and uh, he actually retweeted it so it was pretty cool so it's nice to see that you got these big youtubers out there that actually you know uh don't bash the Wii as a lot of everybody else uh in the console community war or whatever uh tend to do um even got people like um with the iPhone star for hire he helps out the Wii as well him and convoy they put a little video out the other day where they were playing a couple games together so i don't know it's pretty cool it's nice that you know uh we got a little bit of exposure there uh, like I said, who doesn't like to be exposed? <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to talk about this gameplay, guys. It's going to be kind of like a two-in-one thing. Uh, I know I'm doing the gold gun gameplay, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, two birds with one stone is what uh, I'm trying to get at. It's the MP7. I know I said I was going to do uh, a live commentaries with it, but you know what? I'm just going to knock this one out because this gameplay is actually pretty fucking good. Um, and now I know there's going to be a little bit of hate because people's like, well, it's the MP7. It's an OP weapon. I agree and disagree with you. <clears throat> The setup I have on it now is rapid fire and silencer, so it is an OP weapon. And it, it, you know, it, it's actually how I believe the weapon is supposed to be used because the firing rate is so inconsistent on it. When you you don't have the um, the excuse me the uh, rapid fire onto it, uh, you know, it just fluctuates back and forth from a high rate of fire to a slow rate of fire. And I've talked to a few people as well. They said that the P90 does the exact same thing. So uh, I don't know. I don't use the P90. I think I've used it maybe four times. I promise you guys, I don't have it leveled up at all. Um, matter of fact, I have a Moab, I think maybe like a month or two ago, where I used the P90 and it was button, it's called, I called it the butt naked P90 Moab or something like that. And, um, and that's pretty much probably the last time I've used it other than picking it up uh, when I ran out of ammo or something like this. I throw Scavenger on this weapon, which is not my style because I'm a run and gun type player. So I have to play a little bit more strategic when you have Scavenger on it because I got to give myself time to reload. The reload on this, on the gun without a uh, sleight of hand, isn't bad. I mean, I've seen worse, uh, that's for sure. Um, but it's, it's not bad. But you have to put yourself in a position where you can get out of a set, out of a situation, a scenario, where you can actually get a reload and potentially come back and um, take out the enemy. So 
Uh, I think my final score in this gameplay was like a 31 and 0. Spoiler! And it was flawless! No, I don't like hitting too high notes. Let's do it again. 31 and 0. Spoiler! And it was flawless. <laughs> there we go. I got my Barry White on right there, people. If your mother listens to this commentary right now, I just made her panties milky! And I hope all you young kids understand and uh, put your ear muscle on when your daddy is talking on a mic. So, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't mean to cough in your ear. Uh, actually, the, at the end of this gameplay, I get the final kill, which is pretty nice because I get the first blood and final kill. And I want to say this. I believe if there is a stat or some type of accolades where it says first blood, I guarantee you I would probably be leading that in that category. I get first blood, I would say, 95% of the games just because I rush. Uh, so, I don't know. So I get first blood and final kill in this gameplay. Um, my final score, like I said, was 31-0. and 0, And what had me kind of – a great game, but what had me upset, I just wish we had maybe 10 more kills. Um, just due to the fact that I was at 21 kills with my weapon when, it, when the gameplay came to an end. So I was uh, three kills away from my assault Moab, uh, which I haven't gotten yet. I've got – all my Moabs have been on specialist. And uh, I've actually came closer to an assault Moab. Moab. Uh, a couple games back where I was playing a free-for-all and I was running around with the um, the custom class that's set up for you when you prestige with the G36. I think it has a new tube on it and all that other stuff. But it's in free-for-all, so uh, I think the Moabs are fairly easy to get in free-for-all. So, Anyways, I, I was very close to getting the Moab, and uh, but like I said, I'm happy with the score. Uh, what's crazy is I get 21 kills with my weapon, but I have two Pavlos, two H6 Overwatch, and the two choppers called in which only equivalent to 10 kills. So, But this map here is just pretty much it. It's not really great for uh, um, running assault when it comes to your, um, I guess, kill streaks and stuff like that just because of the fact that, you know, there's a lot of places for people to hide when it comes to choppers. That's not really what I want to talk about, guys. So uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is I have an open lobby tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Time The, um, uh, the ally code to that uh, particular class that I have set up or that account will be the uh, link will be in the description guys so be there or be square dude so come check me out hopefully you guys uh, you know we're gonna have some good times hope you guys are gonna come over and uh, we'll be there for about an hour and a half the last play uh, last kills coming right here so uh, I'm out of here guys so I'm gonna finish it off with it's your boy hunt noobs I'm out